So you were saying one of the uh, material effects of this is going to be that batteries are going to be used everywhere, essentially. There's no question. Uh, any of the reporting that's out there from the top, you know, traded trade outlets on this re decision, it's all like, wow, this creates the huge um, forcing mechanism really for batteries to get thrust into the prime time. Um, you know, in a residential setting, like right now, I think the most recent data that I've seen um, is saying attachment rates are in the neighborhood of maybe 10% in California. Yeah. Um, you know, where do they go post NEM3? Um, you know, 70%, 80%. 90%, some folks are speculating. I, I probably wouldn't disagree with some of those. So you'll see a lot more storage going in. The there question is, is this who's going to be installing them? Because I think they're also requiring certain new certifications to install them too, right? That is on the C10 issue. That is, a, it ended up getting um, um, narrowed to just commercial projects over a certain size. So my understanding is a C46 licensed uh, contractor is... Um, legally eligible to uh, to install solar and storage. Got it. Um, it but, but who's going to do it? It's the people that are going to do it are certainly uh, existing solar installers. And right. I think a lot of these folks are doing storage now, but they are going to be forced to, to grow up quick and, and really get efficient. Uh, and there is this whole argument. Um, you know, I've been on some of these policy calls in the last three days, and it's true that, you know, storage still has lots of um, you know, it's still kind of adolescent in the sense that like permitting is messy. Uh, it's not really clean and efficient interconnection. There's, there's issues. There's just different oh. types of red tape certifications and standards. Uh, sure. We're working through these issues all the time on energy tool base on the commercial side and the industry, the storage industry has got to grow up quick, um, to cut, to meet the demand of NEM3. Cause if you're in a world where attachment rates are, you know, let's just say north of 60%, 70%, um, we're all going to have to get better. The supply chain is going to have to be there. Uh, mm -hmm. And these are some of the arguments where, you know, um, certainly the CALSAs uh, are saying, hey, look, we need a good glide path in order for the storage market to really be ready to do size and scale. And I think those are val valid arguments. Yeah. Um, yeah. Great. Well, thanks for sharing that, Adam.